Welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so the first card is, you know, recovering from uh, a lot of problems that you've been through. Um, it seems like, uh, you know, you have had, um, you know, a lot of issues. Um, there's been... Um, you know, you may have received some uh, disturbing, un unhappy, upsetting news as well. Uh, and there's been something sudden that has happened. And you're trying to recover from whatever that uh, upsetting news was. So you went through some kind of crisis and you are trying to recover from it. Now, there are a lot of opportunities opportunities that are presenting themselves to you. You've got this card with uh, Venus and the Sun. So something really good that is coming in for you that's going to bring in a lot of happiness. And these have been presenting in themselves or they will present themselves soon. Now, whatever this upsetting news was, it's probably due to some kind of um, misunderstanding. And you're trying to bridge that gap. You can see this woman's walking over this bridge over here. Um, this, whatever this was has been, you know, very restrictive. Whatever this news was, uh, you know, it, it, was, it was something that caused a, a lot of upset on your part. Uh, you know, it may have been a breakup. It was some kind of... Um, it's all due to a misunderstanding. So you'll need to clear up communications and maybe you want to reconcile with this person. Maybe you are broke up and you are trying to reconcile with this person. Now in the past, you've got discipline over here. So you have been very focused maybe on your career and your work. Uh, you've got a lot of uh, Mars with Saturn over there. So the Saturn is about work and you have been uh, you know, focusing all your personal energy on your work. And maybe this is the reason why you know, communication has not been so good with the person that you've been dealing with. Uh, you might have also been, you know, it might have been that you went through some kind of uh, divorce. There's a legal compensation card over here. So maybe money has come in from some kind of divorce. So whatever that relationship was may have ended up in, uh, in a divorce. Uh, maybe, or maybe you have been dealing with a divorce in the past. Um, and maybe this is the reason why, uh, you know, maybe there was some financial loss as well that came in with that. And, you know, you've had actually been just focusing on your work life uh, recently. And this is the reason why you're trying to recover from whatever that problem was. Now, going into the future, you've got small obstacles and you've got depression going on over here. So you are dealing with problems. Uh, and, you know, this might be just minor misunderstandings. Uh, maybe you can't really communicate. These are problems that are pitching up from the past. You can see this person's... Um, looking to the past. And like I said, you may be trying to reconcile with this person, but there's maybe there's too much of misunderstanding or problems that went on with that person and you can't seem to get uh, things going. You seem to still be dealing with them. There's still a little bit of obstacles and problems that you're dealing with. You're, you know, trying to sort these out. And you're going through a little period of depression and maybe feeling a little lonely. It's a, it's a period of transformation. You've got a lot of butterflies over there. So, you know, you are trying to get your thoughts in order. You've got the moon in the new phase over there and you've got mercury. So you are trying to overcome this problem or try to overcome your emotional, um, you know, difficulties that you went through or that depression. Um, and you, But you're doing a lot of thinking. So you're too much in your head at the moment. And this is the thing that is causing you to feel depressed. Also, you might be feeling a little lonely with that moon card over here. Uh, you know, um, that is why you have a lot of time to think about things. And this is the, probably the thing uh, that is depressing you. And maybe even dealing with these little obstacles that you are facing is causing that depression as well. You've got Neptune over there. So, you know, you're not, you're a bit... Uh, confused, not seeing things very, very clearly at this particular moment with Neptune energy going on around you. Uh, so you are trying to get over that heartbreak. You've got a three over there and that's, you know, that card of heartbreak. So you are trying to deal with it and get over things. So these are the energies for those two weeks. I'm using the Arcus Arcanium Tarot for the main read. I put the deck into the description box to so have a look. It is an old deck and it is quite rare. I think it's out of print at the moment, um, but I have put it in. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is justice. So there is a legal situation that you're dealing with at the moment. So you may have come through a divorce. A separation at this particular moment your freedom you've got your freedom you can see the gate is open and you are out of that particular situation uh, and there was a lot of drama that you dealt with you can see there's a lot of fire in the background in that particular 
uh, through that particular doorway. Uh, so you have left that that uh, drama, or um, and you have moved on, and it seems like there was a legal decision or some kind of legal case that you went through, a legal separation. So this could have been a divorce that you're dealing with. And you can see you went through that crisis. So it seems like, you know, it was a... It may have been a very, very sudden situation. The tower energy is usually coming very suddenly, but it's a very dramatic situation, and there's a lot of loss. And it's also, you know, maybe a loss of residence or even a loss of finances uh, being thrown out of a situation, you know, so you went through this particular drama of the tower. And you had, you know, there was uh, a legal ending to that case. But you're also very, very determined to go on. So this Queen of Swords is usually the divorcee or the single person in the tarot person who has come through a divorce or a separation. So whatever that tower moment brought, whatever that uh, drama or that crisis came, that came in, uh, led to a legal situation. So you've got uh, the Justice card over here, the tower and the Queen of Swords, which is also about legalities, but it's also being very determined and it's also being single as as well and having gone through a lot of problems so it seems like you know you've had gone through a divorce and it was not a very pleasant uh divorce it looks uh, i don't think divorce ever is pleasant but it, there it seems to have been a lot of problems and a lot of drama that occurred because of that and I mean, there may there may have been a lot of loss as well now you've got the six of pentacles over here so it looks like there is financial loss that you went through and it means that you know you may have had to seek some kind of financial assistance this is getting kind of you know help from people around you or seeking some kind of financial aid and this seems to be uh, have been the case there was a lot of fighting a lot of arguments and a lot of dispute within this particular relationship you've got that five of rods over here so you know fighting with each other not seeing eye to eye having to defend yourself and you know everybody coming up against you so it seems like you know you were victimized almost uh, but uh, you know it's a very nasty aggressive energy that you were facing so you were dealing with a lot of problems uh, a lot of uh, nasty energies going on around you and you've got this two of uh, swords over here. So you'll have, uh, you know, uh, up against each other. You can see these people are facing each other over here. Uh, you know, it might be that, you know, you're a bit stuck in this particular situation. And this is about dealing, you know, in a, this is a legal situation. So you are, uh, you know, maybe this uh, relationship or this particular case is in the courts and you are coming up against each other and um, both of you are not budging. So uh, it seems like there's that dispute and, you know, you all are equally matched and you all are fighting each other in the courts uh, as well. So you all are trying to get, um, you know, past the situation, but there seems to be no mo movement at this particular moment. And there's also a lack of communication that is going on. Uh, you know, your freedom, you want your freedom, you want to move through that door, but this person seems to be blocking. Maybe, uh, you know, that you want a divorce from this person, they're not giving it to you. So this could well be the case um, that, you know, they're um, coming up against you. So definitely, uh, you know, facing this person and um, reaching a stalemate, really, uh, and having a lot of difficulties. And this is the reason why, uh, you know, you have employed the courts to deal with that particular situation. So going through a very legal, a very uh, difficult legal problem at this particular moment. Now you've got the Ace of Wands, so you will sort this uh, situation out. There's still going to be a lot of drama. And this person is quite aggressive and, you know, it, they're quite um, stubborn as well. And, you know, uh, they're quite powerful as well. But you have power in your hands. So you're getting that power back, but you're dealing with a very toxic situation. And it's a very, very, you know, there's a lot of drama going on over here. There's a lot of fighting, arguing power play going on over here uh you know you're having you're having a very very difficult time and you're having to stand up for yourself as well now you've got the knight of discs over here so you might well be dealing um you know with a fire sign person um sorry with an earth sign person so this might be uh the energies that you're dealing with so it could be a capricorn a taurus or virgo person uh but this is also um you know you taking a stance for yourself and uh, focusing on your work and being financially independent. Now, whatever this case is, there might be some kind of uh, payoff that comes in. There's a legal settlement that comes in as far as finance goes with this Knight of Discs. So there might be money coming in uh, for you. It might take a little while to come in because the Knight of Discs is a pretty slow-moving knight. Uh, but it's somebody in charge. Uh, it seems like you know, you're now uh, leaving that drama behind and you are going to be focusing more on your work as well. But it looks like there's going to be some kind of settlement that comes in from this legal case uh but you are definitely taking your your power back 
So you're dealing with a very, very difficult situation and it looks like you're going to have to start anew, uh, but you will be able to, um, maybe, like I said, this person that you're dealing with is pretty aggressive uh, um, and you're going to have to stand up for yourself there. You've got that Knight of Swords a uh, decision coming in, so a judgment coming in over here uh, for you. So whatever um, legal um, um, outcome you're waiting for is going to be coming your way. So that news is coming in for you. A judgment will be made. Since you've got that justice card over here where they're going through everything and weighing the situation. Now you've got that. So this looks like it was a marriage uh, that you were involved in. You've got the justice card over there. So this is a uh, you know divorce situation and it seems to be uh, quite a nasty uh, situation that you're dealing with. But the judgment is coming through for you soon. Um, now what you want to do is you want to move on. You've got that Knight of Wands over here, so it seems like, you know, uh, you're ready to move on. Maybe you want to even move home or move country and go away from this particular place. Go and start off afresh somewhere else. So it looks like you might be thinking of traveling soon. So going into the future, you've got the Temperance card, the Three of Pentacles, and the Queen of Wands. So uh, it definitely looks like you're healing from this particular situation. So this judgment is coming in. It looks like it's going to go in your favor because you've got that Ace of Wands, a brand new beginning, starting afresh and getting away from all the drama that you've been facing and focusing more on your work. This man is on a horse. It's the Knight of Discs, so it looks like you're going to be traveling somewhere else to do your work and you're going to be more focused on that money. This might also be, that, like I said, a, a settlement coming in. With the Temperance card, it's also about travel because it's a card ruled by Sagittarius. So also healing but, you know, moving away from the situation and that will allow you to heal uh, from whatever is going on. And also, uh, you know, getting advice from people around you and how to deal with this particular situation. This is focusing on work with that three of pentacles, but this is also about money coming in. So there is a legal settlement that um, or financial settlement that comes in with this particular legal case. So, you know, you will get a payoff from whatever happens, but it looks like you're going to be focusing on your work. Um, you know, and maybe working with a lot more people that you enjoy working with as well. So that seems to be where all the focus is going to be. So you're giving up that relationship completely. It seems like you're not getting anywhere with this person. You know, you're facing them. Uh, there's no movement going on over there. There doesn't seem to be uh, any way to get past that those problems. Uh, and it looks like, you know, you're going to be moving on and focusing more on your work. And you've got that Queen of Wands over here. So taking control, taking charge again. And this is another card of travel, taking your power back. Uh, and, you know, dealing with that particular situation. You could well be dealing, you know, completely with a fire sign person. You've got a lot of wands cards in over here. So it could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius that you're dealing with. But this is you taking that control back, uh, you know, getting back your power and uh, moving forward, starting afresh and, uh, you know, um, taking control and taking charge of the situation. So it looks like, you know, whatever's going on over here, you are going to, uh, you know, you're ending the situation legally, ending that situation and starting afresh. Um, you know, you're dealing with a very, very difficult situation, but it looks like you're using, uh, you know, you're going to, you know, separate from that person, uh, you know, with, legally separate from that person so there's a judgment coming up over there and it looks like you're going to be moving on fo focusing on your work and um you know moving on so you've got the nine of Raphael, which says make a wish dreams become a reality a joyful time in life so you have an edge over whatever is going on over here you have the upper hand and it looks like whatever you want is going to fall into your lap so uh you know if you want this relationship uh, to end in this kind of way this is going to go that way and it looks like you're going to be victorious uh, this is the card of uh you know attainment uh and you know reaching that emotional fulfillment so as soon as you separate from this person it looks like you will settle down and you'll be happier for leaving this person it seems you've got the seven of um Ariel, you have invested wisely, have patience and wait for the harvest, review your progress and make plans for the next uh, endeavor. So, you know, you need to uh, start making plans for the future over here and uh, see where you can invest your emotions or your time and your effort into something else. It looks like something better is coming along for you. Uh, there is a choice coming in for you with a lover's card over here. So make choices from the heart. There might be a new relationship that comes in because you've got that seven of Ariel over here and the lovers. So it looks like a new relationship might enter. It might be somebody that you meet from work and it's somebody that, you know, uh, you feel is better to invest your emotions in and it might actually pay off. Um, it might be, it might end up being a better relationship for you. 
uh, and you know it might end up in in some kind of emotional commitment because it says deeply emotional commitments coming over here the power of love so it looks like you know a new relationship might be entering for you with that nine of Raphael, and it looks like you know you Investing in that relationship might end up being something that is better for you because it will end up in a better commitment or this might be the, the soulmate that you've been waiting to meet. So after going through all the drama that you've gone through in the past and that relationship not working out, it, it might be that a new relationship is coming uh, in and the one that you invest in now is going to be better because it's going to lead to a long-term commitment. And maybe you and this person will be on the same page uh, as opposed to you and the other person that we are, you all are not seeing eye to eye. You know, there's such a power struggle going on and there's a lot of arguments that have been going on over here. The new relationship that comes in for you, it seems, is going to be better um, you know, it's going to be something that is going to be worth investing in because it's going to lead to something where you are much more connected to this person. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Leave me some comments if it hasn't. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.